Hey everyone, Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the Goblin Diplomacy quests. Now, there are no requirements in order to complete this quest, um, and as for the items, you can either do this one or two ways, but I made the guide to sort of benefit both. Now, the actual items you need are three suits of Goblin Mail, which you can obtain during the quest, and you'll also need two different coloured dies. Now, you can either manually make the dies yourself, which in this guide will show you where to get the items and how to make the dies, or you can just buy them from the Grand Exchange and it will make the quest quicker. So it's completely up to you. Um, so either you want the blue and orange die, or um, leave that and I'll show you how to obtain the items to make them. But anyway, once you've decided what you're going to do, we're going to go on to the quest starting point. So we're currently at the Falador Lodestone, which can be accessed via the Lodestone network. Um, if you haven't got this one unlocked, and there's other ones you wish to unlock, I do have a guide uh, on unlocking the Lodestones quite quickly, and that um, video is in the description below. So click that if you're not too sure and want to know how to unlock them. Um, either way, from the Falador Lodestone, we're going to head to the Goblin Village, which is sort of to the north of us. The location is being displayed on the minimap in order to start the quest. Once you arrive in the Goblin Village, you want to head in sort of like the uh, big hut. Um, it's got the quest star symbol on the map, and you want to speak to either General Bent Nose or General Wartface in order to start the quest. So after speaking to them, they'll tell you that there's a sort of civil war between them and they've been arguing about the colour of armour and they'll now ask you to help them decide on a different colour armour. So they're settled with orange for the first one. Um, if you speak to them again, they will tell you about goblin mail being scattered around the village. Um, so obviously make sure you do that and then go and find the goblin mail, which are in these three locations. So there's one just behind the main building here. Um, and there's another one to the building more towards the west of goblin village. And then there's one uh, just over this direction. Uh, here. So once you've obtained the free goblin mail, now um, again this will depend on what you've done. If you've already got the orange die with you, simply use that on one of the goblin mails and go speak back to the generals. However, if you haven't got an orange die and you wish to know how to obtain it, this is how we're going to do it. So, to make orange die, we need a red die and a yellow die. Now, the items we need for that are, for the red die, we want three red berries and five coins. You'll pay the witch who makes them for you. And for the yellow die, we want two onions and five coins. So, we'll go find the red berries first. Now, the easiest place to go get them is from Beefy Bill, who trades them. Um, and to reach him, basically, we're going to teleport to the Drainer Village Lodestone and then head to where the farm is that he hangs around with. Um, and that's sort of to the northeast of your location. Head over to Beefy Bill and trade with him and you should be able to uh, buy three red berries from his shop. Now we have them, we just need to get two onions. Now the easiest place to get them, onions are obviously grown on different farms across RuneScape, um, but there's an onion patch near Rummington, um, which if you teleport to Port Serim's lodestone and head west from there, you should eventually come up to an onion patch. Uh, make sure you pick two, and that's all the items you need to make the two dies. So after you obtain the onions, to save some time for later on, we're gonna go and get the ingredients you need for the other die, which is the blue one, and for that you need two woad leaves. Now there's a gardener who's sells road leaves in the Falador Park, so if you teleport to the Falador Lodestone, um, head from there south east of the park area and there should be a garden, I think his name's Winson or Winson, something like that. Speak to him and you can buy road leaves from him for 15 coins each, make sure you buy two of them, um, and that's all the ingredients that you then need to make your dye. So in total we should have three red berries, two onions and two road leaves. And from here we're going to head to the witch who makes dyes called Aggie, who's located in Drainer Village. So teleport to Drainer Village using the Lodestone stone through the lodestone network and then from there we're going to head to her house which has been shown on the mini map once you get over to her you should be able to speak to her and ask to make some dyes and it should automatically do the ones um, that you've got the ingredients for in. um, so you, sh you should be given a red dye a yellow dye and a blue dye use the red and yellow dye together and you'll get an orange dye and obviously use uh, leave the blue dye as it is so now we have all them we can head back to the generals to carry on through the quest So use your orange die on one of the goblin males you obtained and speak to him and another cutscene will take place. The goblins will decide they don't like orange armour and in this time want to try blue. So this is why we got the uh, ingredients ready and the blue die ready. So use your blue die on the second piece of goblin mail you obtained and speak to him again to um, play another cutscene. 
after the cutscenes ended, they'll now decide they want the colour brown. <laughs> um, so funny, that has the colour of the normal Goblin Mail, so speak to him again with the third Goblin Mail in inventory and another cutscene will take place. So after all that, they will settle with the brown Goblin Mail colour, the original. I know, it's stupid goblins. Um, but yeah, congratulations, you've completed the Goblin Diplomacy quest, you're awarded 5 quest points, a gold bar, 200 crafting experience and 2 extra spins on a Swirl of Fortune. Now, obviously it's a bit of a lame reward, but the biggest part of this reward is 5 quest points, and um, there's only a few quests that give you quite a high amount like that, and to get 5 quest points is very very handy, and um, can help out for a lot of other things where you need certain quest points um, to start other quests, so a main one to get done and very easy to do. Um, if you run into any problems at all, uh, I doubt you will, I'll be very surprised if you will, but make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you as best as I can. If not, thank you very much for watching, please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers guys, bye.